Hey guys, um, yesterday I said I was going to review the movies for March 2012, so here they are. Number 3, 21 Jump Street, this new buddy cup action comedy, starring Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Okay, it starts like this, Jenko and Schmid, played by, played by Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, are two rookie cops young rookie cops uh, who pose as high schooler high schoolers to take down a drug ring so this part of the mo movie is the, uh, the police are reviving a canceled program from the 80s where they get, get young high, young police officers like in the age of 20 in the or in the age of 20s to pose as high schoolers college college kids and High school seniors and college graduates, you know, as well as teachers, you know, to take down weapons dealing, corruptness, and drugs, anything. So the movie was really funny. I found it entertaining, and I liked it. I give this movie a nine out of ten. Rookie cop, nine out of ten rookie cops. Movie number two, The Hunger Games. Okay, I know you all read the book, so you probably know what it is about. Here's the thing. There were some parts of the movie that kind of get me like, that's it. I just messed up. This is messed up. Yeah, I, I, there were some parts of the book, movie that said, make me said that was pretty messed up. But it was kind of good. Jennifer Lawrence killed it as Cat Me 17. And um, so, apparently, in the end, I give The Hunger Games a solid 10 out of 10 Mocking Jays. Yeah, it's a hit around the world. Movie number one, Wrath of the Titans. Okay, Sam Worthington is back as Perseus, but this time he has a mullet. A really nice mullet. Look, Bob Thunder's a mullet. And also, oh, Liam Neeson is back as Zeus in the move in the first film, Clash of Titans. He was more of a douche, and now in this movie, he's kind of more, yeah, kind of a I don't know how should I put this on. I don't know. I don't know how you put it this way or something. So um, apparently, early Hades wants uh, he. Hey, by Ralph Fiennes, you might have known him as Frank Dollarhide in The Red Dragon and Lord Voldemort in the Harry Potter series. Lots of release the Titans. The Jack Morning has taken on the Kraken. Now, it's time for him to take on a Titan. So the movie was entertaining. The acting was good. It was really good. Yeah, but, so apparently, um, I give this movie a solid 8 out of 10. So lots of my reviews for the movies of March twenty, oh March twenty twelve. Oh, another thing, um, I was on watching you know the greatest ever videos. Videos, and I read this comment, a comment that was really awkward. I was like, I'll get it. And it said that a subscriber named Stephanie St. If thirteen. Stephanie Stitt, I think it's Stephanie Stitford. He said a few years ago, a man, you know, a serial killer, I mean, an escaped convict, dressed up as a as a clown statue, we broke into the house and tried to kill them. But basically, she survived a few years ago. By the way, a Stephanie Stitt 13. If you're watching this, um, if that happened a few years ago, shouldn't like didn't that guy be arrested? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stephanie, if you're watching this, um... Didn't that, if you're watching this right now, and that happened a few years ago, why, now, a few years ago, now, a few years later, shouldn't that guy be back in jail? Jail? And so, apparently, it's still... He, I hope he's now back in jail, where he belongs. 
God, I hate it when God, I hate it when the underworld thinks through. Oh, another thing. Oh, and another thing is this: George Clooney got arrested for protesting. Testing something. Um, I don't know what he got protesting for. I don't remember. It happened a few weeks ago or something. Yeah, George Clooney got arrested. <laughs> and another thing. thing is this movie Bully? Yes. Apparently, this is the first unrated movie that will be shown in theaters. Yeah. Yeah, if if this is if this is an unrated movie, shouldn't it be on a DVD unrated version instead of being in theaters? Cause that is really ironic. Even though it's PG thirteen, they're still bleeping out a few things. So this is ironic. Now, a few things I want to tell you: the reviews for the three movies, a one-year-old encounter with, you know, with have with a with a convict. George Clooney, George Clooney, or Clooney's arrest, and the bullies. So that's my, that's my thought. That's what I have for my, that's what I have. Keep it comfortable. below. Low of what else happened during March 2012. Oh, another thing, I'll leave a comment below, because I didn't see the, all the other films, you know, because I was busy doing stuff. So tell me what I missed. And in the end, I will go now. See you guys soon.